Dr. Monty here. I want to talk a little bit about our posture. How's my posture? It's good, right? It's what most individuals end up looking like because we're sitting on our computers here, or our tablets, or our phones, and our gaming. Um, and so we just end up being like this, our shoulders are round, our heads forward, and um, it starts kind of hurting and getting headaches and uh, maybe some shoulder problems. Well, to fix all of that, we just need to get upright and get our chin back. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some how to do some chin tucks when you're sitting and then again when you're lying down. So in a sitting position, nice and uh, straight, how we all know our posture should be, and then you do a chin tuck. Okay, now I'm gonna demonstrate what a chin tuck is not. It's not this, okay? It's not this. It's kind of in between. You wanna go straight back with the chin, just like that. Basically, it's what nobody wants to see is these double chins, but that's what, the, what we're going to get when we do it correctly. So let's go through. We're going to do 10 of these for 10 seconds. So we'll start off with one. Hold it for 10 seconds. Okay, there's one. And we're going to do nine more. Now, I just use my... Fingers just to help direct. You don't have to do that. You just go straight back like that and hold it. We're straightening the spine out here, reversing that forward head posture. Okay, there's two. There's three. Lengthening these muscles up at the base of the skull that have become short from that forward head posture. Okay. Number five. I try to keep my shoulder blades back. My shoulders back. You may have a tendency to want to raise them up when you initially go back. Try to avoid that. There's six. Keep my gaze forward so it keeps my chin straight back. If I look up, I want my chin's gonna go where my eyes go. Okay, got three more. Drop the shoulders. Keep the chin back. Work on that double chin there. Lovely. And eight. It also tightens up your deep flexor muscles underneath your chin, which should help improve some tone under there. Okay, one more. Holding it for 10 seconds. There we go. Okay, we got 10 for 10. All right, now I'm going to show you another way to do that. This had nothing back here to push against, which is fine if you hold it. But I like to also to have something to push against. Sometimes I'll do it in my car with my headrest. Otherwise, you can do it on the floor or on your bed. So you're lying flat. And now I have my the back of my head resting on the floor. I do a chin tuck again, trying to flatten the curve of your neck straight down. And there's one. I'm gonna hold that for 10 seconds. Here you might have a tendency to let your shoulders come up like you did when sitting. Try to keep them flat and down. Okay, there's one. Let's do it again. Here's number two. Now you really see that double chin looks good, right? Keep the shoulder blades down and back. Okay, there's two. You let it rest. You do this with your knees bent if you like, if you're having a problem with your low back. And let's do number three. Keep your low back flat. Really stretch the spine out there. If you're doing a chin tuck, flattening the neck. Okay. Let's do another one. Here's four. So I'm saying keeping your neck flat, flattening your low back. Gets a good stretch from the base of the head all the way down to your rear end. Okay, that's five. 
Halfway done. Let's do number six. Okay. Relax a moment. Take a little break. Do another chin tuck. Number seven. This is a good time. My hands on my stomach. You can practice some belly breathing. Inhale into your hand. Exhale. You should feel your hand go up and down. Okay. There's seven. Three more to go. Another ten tuck. Number eight. Shoulders back. Back's flat. Belly breathing. Okay. There's eight. Let's do two more. Here's number nine. Belly breathing helps you relax. Work on, there's nine. Okay, take a little break. And one more for 10. Now same belly breathing, you can work on inhaling for four seconds, hold for four seconds, exhale for four seconds. It really helps with the relaxation. All right, so there you have it, 10 for 10 on the ground, have something to push against, give you a lot of other cues to help you relax and help your spine straighten out.